Bonjour mes amis, salut, c'est Diane. How's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome. We are in saint emilion here in the Gironde, and today's video is brought to you in partnership with La Zen, an amazing company, perfect for all your wine travel needs. We'll get back to that in a minute. Thank you so much for being here. It's uh, slightly raining here, just started in saint emilion so I'm under an umbrella. I put my notes away, so I'm hoping to do about a 45-minute broadcast for you today. Uh, we have a few things planned. We're going to stop into a few shops. I'm going to show you some cannelé, a special pastry from this area. Uh, we're going to pop into a few wine shops, show you the sights. So thank you again for being here. And we're going to get started in just a minute. As I said, it's a partly cloudy day, just started raining, so I'm under an umbrella. As you join in, please let me know who's here. Say hello. It's always nice to see a familiar face here on the live broadcast. Joe, hello. Joe, let me know, since we just have a handful of people so far, if you could hear me okay, and if you could see some uh, vines in front of us. Let me know the sound and the pictures okay. Steph, awesome to see you here. Thank you for waking up so early. Wonderful to see you. And uh, we're going to get started in just a minute. Let me know you're here. Let me know you could hear me. Hi, Christine. And, uh, and yeah, so I hope to have a good tour for everyone. If you've been to Santa Medion, let me know in the comments. And I'm going to just get started. So as I said today, we have a special sponsor, the very wonderful La Zen. I've worked with them before, and a wonderful post is linked in the description. And while you're looking at the wine suitcase, if I could ask anyone who's watching, if you could just make sure you've liked my page and you've hit share on this live video, it would help me so incredibly much just to help to get the word out about my broadcast and what I'm doing here, uh, just so more people can watch live with us, you know, the more the merrier. So take a minute before we start walking, just to, uh, just to uh, share that live video, and I'll let you do that. And then we're going to get started. But before we do, let me show you this wine check suitcase from La Zen. As I said, I've partnered with them for this video. And this is all you need for your travel. Um, if you come to Santa Medion or anywhere and you want to bring back wine bottles, vinegar, olive oil. Um, it's an excellent rolly bag with a handle like this. So you can roll it in the airport and these beautiful wheels. And I'm going to show you the inside with the help real quick before we get started with my lovely assistant, Tom. He's gonna open up the zipper. And we have a foldable, collapsible exterior area here. And again, this is the, the wine check model. My post I did on it is in the description of this post. And inside we have a polystyrene box that holds, Tom, if you could just help me open this box, please. Um, it's a reusable box, lasts for about five to 10 uses on a plane. And as you could see, we have all kinds of space here for the 12 wine bottles. So this is completely legal, TSA approved, to bring your haul of wine, olive oil, vinegar, international, so you could bring home some of your wares from saint Emilion. So I hope you check out the post in the description box. Thank you again to La Zen for sponsoring this broadcast. Again, let me just say hello real quick to Everyone, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. It is Diane, the American blogger behind the We in France Facebook page and blog. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll just say hi real quick. Here I am. It's raining. I was under an umbrella, so we're going to do our best here to uh, not get wet. And I put my notes away because it is raining. So thank you. Thank you again. Say hello. Share the video as we get walking. And I'm going to show you first one of the best views here in saint Emilion. Okay, so wow, look at this. It would be a little more beautiful with the sun, right? But check this out. This is, if you come to saint Emilion, you want to walk up to the Tour du Roi. This is the Tower of Roy. You could actually go up there, walk up all the steps, and get an even more amazing view. But here we have one of the most beautiful views in saint Emilion. So for anyone who's not really clear on where we are, we're about 22 miles from Bordeaux. saint Emilion makes a beautiful day trip. Or even just an afternoon if you're just passing through. Let me jump down here and show you the view down below, some vines. saint Emilion is a village. It's only home to just over 2,000 people year-round, but it does see about 5 million tourists every year, 5 million from 140 countries. So that is uh, pretty significant, but it is a village in terms of size, although you will find hotels, several five-star, uh, all types of restaurants, wine shops, uh, everything you need. 
All right, so if you like the view before we start walking on, give me a heart, give me a thumbs up. Hey, David. Hello, Sandra. And guys, in the rain here, I'm going to do my best to reply to questions and keep an eye on the comments. But as you'll see, the, uh, the slope of Santa Medellin is a little treacherous for the feet, especially when wet. So forgive me if I miss your comment. But yeah, give me a thumbs up. Let me know the sound and the picture's good, and, and we're going to get moving, okay? All right. All right, so we are starting up at the top of the hill on Santa Medellin, so I could start off showing you that beautiful view. And we're just going to cut through the back here. So what I have planned for you is about a 45-minute walk through Santa Medellin here in the Gironde department. And this is in the newly formed Nouvelle-Aquitaine region. And we're just a short drive, 22 miles outside of Bordeaux. Check out these roses, something you'll see a lot. Someone just asked me if you could buy Lazen in France. Yes, they're a European company on their website, um, which I have linked in the post in the description box. Um, they ship worldwide, so you could actually buy the suitcase, um, have it shipped directly to your hotel or wherever you're staying in Europe, wherever your wine tour is. Um, very, very accessible. And I feel that the price is reasonable for what you get, especially if you're buying high-end bottles of wine. And you need to make sure that they arrive home in one piece. Okay. Yes, Nadine, I am so happy to see the rain stop too, but I have my umbrella uh, just in case it starts up again. All right, guys, so again, if you're new here, I'm Diane. I'm the American blogger behind the We in France Facebook page and blog. And I've been doing this six years this month. This month marks my six year blog anniversary. So, uh, yay, I started in 2012, but I just started doing Facebook Lives a few months ago. Um, if you would like to watch any old videos, just while we're on the back street here, I'll give you a little background. Uh, we've gone to the French pharmacy, a grocery store. We've done a few town walks through Angers and another maine loire town, Cholet. By the way, I live in the maine loire not the Nouvelle-Aquitaine, where we are now. But Tom and I are heading south this weekend. If you want to see where, stay tuned to my page. Make sure you've hit follow and like. And there might be a few spontaneous Facebook Lives, depending on what we see and what we're doing. So stay tuned. But if you're into good wine, you're into uh, medieval times, you're into history, saint Emilion is a must-see town. And hopefully you've already seen why, but by the end of this video, you definitely will. Again, short ride from Bordeaux. And even if you only have an hour, still come, because you know the town, the village, is quite small. If you're walking at a good pace like we are, you could get from one side to the other in 10, 15 minutes tops. So this is not a city by any means. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. All right. And we're just coming up. We're just, th this is the most boring part of the tour because we have to get to the main part. But we're... Uh, we're just coming up around back, so let me just give you a tiny bit of history. I'm not a history buff, but I, I know a little bit. Um, so Santa Medellin was named after a monk who came from the, near the Brittany town of Van. And he came here way back in the day, 8th century, uh, and, and is said to have performed miracles in and around Santa Medellin. So the town was turned into a religious center, and then the name kind of stuck. So check out some of the steep hills and the cobblestones. We're going to see more of that in a bit. One tip, if you come to saint Emilion and a lot of French villages, wear decent walking shoes. It's definitely not the time to try out new sandals and definitely not time to try out heels. You know what? This is the Hostellerie de Plaisance, one of the <laughs> highest end five-star hotels in the area. Well worth the money. And I'm going to actually show you without disturbing the client. Do -do -do. Some of the prices if you feel like splurging. So hopefully that's in focus for you. Thank you, Joe. So rooms start at about 455 euros. Dogs are allowed. Yes, just not in the restaurant. So hopefully you see those prices there. And they do have a beautiful uh, gastronomique restaurant. And you can see what the prices are like there. I won't linger here too long, but just wanted to show you. A beautiful, beautiful property. If you feel like celebrating something, uh, like an anniversary, a birthday, something like that, this place is where you should go. But like I said, there's no need to stay in Santa Mignon if you're just passing through. And what we have here on the left, we have the tourism office. If you need to get information, they're great. They have an awesome gift shop. 
And something else you'll see in Santa Million is the terrace culture. Everyone's outside having a glass of wine. Oh, and there's a Cavalier King Charles, like my dog, getting picked up. Hey, buddy. And the main entrance of the five-star hotel that I just told you about is around here. Beautiful. And let me just pan up real quick. This is the bell tower of the monolithic church. I hope you could see all the way up to the top. And you can go up and take a visit. You'll get a great view from up there. And the entrance to that is directly to my right, what I'm showing you now. I've never been up myself, but it is worth a visit if you have the time. And the special thing about the monolithic church is actually, I'll, I'll show you downstairs. We can't go in. There are guided tours at different times. Um, not now. <laughs> I wouldn't have signal, but it's actually underground. It's built. It was dug out into a huge cavern. And I'll tell you more about that in a little while. But first, let me show you another beautiful view. So we started, if you can see my finger, this is that Tour du Roi, the t Tower of Roy that I showed you earlier. We were standing kind of over here. We went around back and now we're here. And this is a great view down below. <laughs> Check out that view. You can grab a glass of wine, have something to eat down below. And let me just point out as well that uh, Santa Million was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site, like many places around the world, many of them are in France, uh, in 1999. And its claim to fame was that it was the first vineyard classified in the world as a UNESCO Heritage Site. So that's pretty cool. And you'll find no shortage of vineyards in the Santa Million jurisdiction. All right. Great view, right? Can't get enough of that. Hello again to anyone who has just joined us. It's uh, Diane from the We in France blog and Facebook page. We're just doing about a 45 minute stroll around the Gironde village of saint emilion known for all kinds of things, but predominantly wine and its rich history. So thank you again for joining me. We just uh, checked out one of the swankiest hotels in saint emilion the Hostellerie de Plaisance. Checked out a few views, and for anyone who has to go, this will post as a replay to the top of my We in France Facebook page directly after. So again, if you just joined, it would be awesome if you hit share while we're live, just to make it the more the merrier and get some more friends over on our broadcast. That would be awesome. Now, as you'll see, as we're walking down this street, there's all types of wine shops, and I'll back up so you can see some of them. In just a moment. Don't want to get any unwilling participants in my video. So here's one, the Vignoble Chateau. And there are many like this in saint Emilion and around. And they do ship all over the world if you're someone who has a, a big uh, trip and you don't want to carry cases of wine. They will ship for a pretty price. But part of the fun is going in and tasting. There's a wonderful little shop we're going to head in here in about 10 minutes and check out that cobblestone street. You want to watch your step again, make sure you have good walking shoes when you're in saint Emilion. But this shop is going to be the first one that we're going to pop into and I'm going to start by showing you some of the prices outside. This is the Contrat des Vignobles. And the owner was very nice. Um, anyone's shop who we're stopping in, just for the record, I do have permission. I don't just barge in with my, with my uh, video. Um, so we do have permission, but first, just so you see, uh, these are very high-end wines. So you could see what year we're talking about. And I hope that's in focus. There are no decimal points in between those numbers. That uh, Petrus de Medis is 5,240 euros. And it says by unit, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that's the case, not the bottle, <laughs> but we could check. So yes, you can see what kind of wine we're talking about here. Bonjour. We have some, some of us, some of them that are interested. Okay, in we go. Good, there are no clients in here, so I could show you all around. Do we have any wine, fa uh, wine connoisseurs out there? Is anyone? Oh, Molly, you've been to this shop. Awesome. What did you buy? Anything? Probably not the super expensive bottle. I think I would feel guilty drinking it. We'll just show you. All the shops are beautiful. Everything is laid out beautifully. You have price lists. And as I said, the owner was very helpful, very nice, and is letting me film in here. So check out some of those labels. I'll just show you over here before we move on. Cindy, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining. So we have the wines here classified. Uh, uh, we have some uh, dry white, Margot, all types of wines. Look at these labels. 
and you will find predominantly red wines, red wine blends in Santa Mignon, but not only that, there's Bordeaux white, um, but if you're a red wine lover, this is the place to come. And in Santa Mignon, uh, I believe we have two appellations. We have Santa Mignon and Santa Mignon Grand Cru. And the majority of grapes, uh, we have the Merlot, the Merlot, and the Cabernet Franc, the Cabernet Franc. But there are other grapes as well. It's not just those two. All right, so we won't linger here too long. We'll head out. Merci beaucoup. Bon après-midi. Merci. Uh, so something you'll notice, guys, something I say on all my videos, is when you go into a shop in France, I mean, this is pretty much a given, most of you will say, anywhere in the world, when you go into a shop, you, gr you greet uh, the owner, you say bonjour, you say hello. Um, now that, again, I always say, if you go into H&M or some big store, you don't need to scream 20 meters away to say hello to the, the shopkeeper who might be busy doing something else. But in small shops where you come face to face with a human being in France and I would argue anywhere, you say hello, you say thank you when you leave. And in France, it's always good to tack on a few extras. Hello, <laughs> thank you, goodbye. No joke, when you go to the grocery store, sometimes it's, uh, oui, merci, bonne journée, au revoir, à bientôt. It's like a whole chain. <laughs> Not even kidding. You guys know what I'm talking about if you spent any time in France. And I'll just give you a, a look back on the street where we came from so you can get a feel for what saint Emilion looks like. Okay, and now we're going to just head up here. I'm going to show you a little view again. No shortage of those, I told you. And we're going to head into a wonderful store that makes canelé. It's the, the Bordelais pastry. And Molly, who's on here now, um, I believe her blog is Toffee Bits and Chocolate Chips. She might be rebranding on Instagram. I think it's just Molly Wilkinson. She could reply now and, and tell you all. She's a wonderful American pastry chef, also a blogger. She's excellent. So if you do events in France, you need a pastry chef, you need... I believe pastry catering. She does it all. Get in touch with Molly. She's excellent. So you see that red building right in front of us. They are a chain in the Bordeaux region. So in saint Emilion and Bordeaux, I know there are at least two of them. That's the Canonet uh, by, by Ardron. I think that's how you say it. By Ardron. And the pastry is a sweet uh, rum flavored, kind of a custard inside. A vanilla, rummy type of thing in a very cool mold that you've probably seen. They're made in little copper molds. They're one of Tom's favorites. So we are going to go in. Get your taste buds ready, folks. Here we go. I'm going to start by showing you in the window. Hey, there's Molly's handle. Molly J. Wilk, it looks like. All right, check it out. These are Kennedy. And I am going to show you the saint Emilion macaron. They're a little bit of a twist on the traditional macaron that you know about. But first, we are going to go check out these wonderful delicacies. And the owner cleared this. Check out the floor. Look at that. What nice tile, right? Yes, Sarah, that church is wonderful. And you know, it's even more wonderful, the monolithic church. When you go in there on a hot summer day, when the air temperature is 90 and sunny, you go in and it's at least 20 degrees cooler. Uh, when you go in the monolithic church underground. It's just there. You, they usually do tours, and um, there's no way I could do a live video underground, but I will talk more about that in a little bit, I think. Bonjour. Bonjour. So as you could see, we have all types of candidate. Different sizes. You could buy the molds. And let me just get a close-up so you could see a little bit. If you like these, if you've tasted them, give me a... Give me a, a heart or give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you sampled one of these delicacies before in France or at home. Do you like this sort of thing? What do you think? So yeah, you could get a box of, let's see, there are different ones, ones with chocolate, and it looks like you could get uh, five of each, the regular and the ones with chocolate for 19.50. And then over here, if you just want a single or you want some macaron, the macaron are 140 each in different flavors. And then we have the special macaron de Bordeaux, which I'll talk about where we're going next. And then it looks like they're about 210 for a canonet, right? And a little tower of macaron, look at that. Okay, excellent. All right, out we go. Merci beaucoup, bon après-midi. Au revoir. Okay, and on we go. We're back out. And this is a wonderful little archway. A car is coming, so I'm not gonna linger here too long. Let me just see if I could kind of show you down the street when the people move. You'll see. And again, check out the stones and the view. 
nice and easy. And something that I learned is that some of the stones that you'll see on these streets, uh, these streets actually, let me go back, um, we're kind of on a, a mound, a hill that goes up and down, and in French they're called uh, terre. And those are hills, a car's coming here. Um, you know what, I'm going to show you something else in a second. My assistant has tapped me on the shoulder. But these teltre, uh they're actually just part of the natural landscape. So always watch your step. Oh. And then Tom is showing me something. Tom, what should I show? Oh, yes, we're going to turn right. Yes, we are going to turn right. Now, I was saying about these teltre, these uh, hilly areas. Right here, Tom? Right here. Okay, my navigator. So these rocks that on the tail, on these hills, the stones actually came from England. So what would happen is back in the day, <laughs> um, back in the day, the, uh, the boats would come, they dock in France, and the stones were originally used to kind of balance the boats and the stormy seas across the channel. So the boats would stay upright. Then they'd get to France, they'd unload the stones on the dock, and then they'd reload their boats for their voyage back to England. Uh, with wine, wine barrels that would balance the boat and keep it from, from rocking too much. So then the French people came to the docks and they said, ah, oh, these stones are great. Polish them, fix them up, and use them here in saint emilion on the hills. So we're walking on English stones. Hello, Tammy. Hello, Sherry. Excellent to have you all here. So let me show you this hill before we go up and then down. When it rains, these are extra slick, so always hold on to the railing. Not like I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> and then there's also a restaurant here, but there's people eating, so I don't want to film them. But you see that next red place there? We are going in. So up we go. I'm going to try not to wipe out here on live video. That would not be good. And I'm just going to back up against the wall to show you what we're going into. Oh, looks like the rain has started again. Lucky us. We're going to keep going. Okay, this is called the Mouliarac, I believe is how we say it. And so they have Canadaises as well, but the claim to fame, one of them again, and saint emilion are the special saint emilion macaron. And unlike the ones you know and love that kind of have two layers um, with a little bit of a filling, um, the saint emilion macaron are usually almond-based, and they're just kind of a, a macaron half. So there's no filling, but they're still chewy and they're excellent. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut across here. We're going to head in, and I'm going to show them to you. Usually, when it's not raining, they have someone outside who gives you a sample. Let me show you what, we, what I mean here. So you could get a box for 7 euros, buy three, get the fourth free. Or you could get a big one here, the Gros Macaron, that's 250. And then some more Canada, specialty of Bordeaux, which I just showed you in our other store. So check them out. And everything is made right in the store just show you some more of their wares. There's some clients here, so I'm keeping the camera down as to not get their face. <laughs> and they speak English, which is always good. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Have a good one. Okay, so check them out. And everything is made here. The lovely owner explained everything to us earlier about that. So look at that. So 120 per macaron. These are the traditional ones, the color ones you see that you probably know. But these ones back here, and yes, they're sold on paper. Um, Molly can tell us if they're actually baked on the paper. I, I don't know if they are, if they're put on there after. Um, but they're sold like this, and they kind of peel off, and they're, they're excellent. Again, they're special saint Emilion macaron. They come in one flavor, and they are almond-based. And as you could see, uh, nothing's in the oven now. It's not steaming hot in here. But the ovens were fired up earlier because everything is made here. And I'll just show you right here as we turn around at the register. A little more about what we have. We have the Bebe Canale, the little ones, and that's 8 euros for a bag, 14 for two. It's a deal you can't resist. I can never resist. We already bought some. And there you go. So, okay, probably baked on them. Very good. Okay, so on we go. We're going to step out and we're going to continue down without tripping over these stones. So again, let me just show you what we're, <laughs> what we're working with here as I make my way down, holding onto the railing. And if you spend any time at one of these restaurants on the right or the left, I, I kid you not, in the busy July and August summer months, you will see at least one person lose their step or fall every 10 minutes. I'm not even joking, one of them was me. 
I usually fall about once per visit. Not all the way down to my butt, but I have slipped. Flip-flops are not your friend. <laughs> but good thing is there are other ways down. So I'm just going to keep the camera kind of pointed down to avoid people's faces. So just forgive me as we're getting down here. We're moving slowly. And again, for anyone just joining, I'm Diane, the American behind the We and Friends Facebook, blog, uh, Facebook page and blog. Thank you for joining me. And you know, guys, if you're liking this, please hit share. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my newsletter on the blog. And I also have a shop selling Francophile goods that I design, t-shirts, mugs, bags, one's on my shoulder right now, all kinds of fun things. So if you want to support me, that is how you do it. And I would be so appreciative. So here we are, we're just getting down to that square that we saw when we were up by the bell tower at the monolithic church. This is what we were looking down upon before. Ah, Molly, you're full of great information. That is awesome. So they were baked on newspaper. Excellent. I'm going to read your comment in full when we're not live. It only shows me the first couple of lines. So over here, we have the entrance to the monolithic church. And as I told you uh, before a little bit, um, it's an underground religious building. So there's all types of things down there, tombs. It's really worth your trip, especially in the summer when it tends to be super hot in Santa Million. You could really cool off when you go down there. And this was dug out in the early 12th century. And I don't know how they did that. It's 38 meters long and about 12 meters high. And this is right in the heart of the city. Um, so, I mean, this is a throwback right to the Middle Ages. And it's really a sight to see. Absolutely worth it. You kind of have to climb down a little ladder. Um, and then we saw the 68 meter bell tower uh, earlier, which you can go up to get a view of the city from above. All right. So here we are at the square. All right. I think I'm going to keep walking. And we're going to head down. And something you'll notice, as I said earlier, all the wine shops in Santa Mignon, it is majorly known for its wine. And many of the growers, uh, there's just a little bouchon here with people, so <laughs> just going to get past. Give me a sec, guys. Um, something you'll notice in Santa Mignon, all the wines, um, is that even if growers aren't certified organic, there's a little symbol, it's AB, Agriculture Bio, I believe. Um, even if growers aren't certified organic, it's a process. Um, a lot of them use organic farming methods anyway. Uh, so you're seeing a real shift towards that as consumers want wines that are produced a little more naturally and organically. Growers are doing it even if they're not certified. So that's another great thing going on. So this is the entrance to the monolithic church that I told you about. And you'll see the doors closed now since there's uh, no tour going on now. But it does tell you about the guided tours. And I showed you the tourism office earlier, so you could get all your information from there. And we're going to continue down the street. I'll just give you a second to take a look. I'm going to just give you a nice view here. And there are a bunch of stores that sell the macaron that I just told you about. So if you don't want to go up that treacherous cobblestone area, there's no need. And let me just show you the top of the church here. So that's, let me just point to, point it out real quick. Again, anyone who's maybe joining late or has to go, uh, there will be a replay uh, that posts to my Facebook page. And the area I just pointed here, that's where we were standing before and looking down from above. So there's the, the monolithic church, 68 meter bell tower that you could go up and visit. And then the real claim to fame of the church, despite its beautiful facade, is everything underground. So I would say if you come to Santa Million, you only have two hours. Get a guided tour of that monolithic church, especially in the summer, so you can cool down. Go in a few wine shops and climb up to where we were and check out the view. That's what I would do. Great streets, right? Look at these places. Another wine shop. Come in. We're open. Check it out. Oh, I'm going to move the camera down. Don't want to get any people. A little bit of a congested area. But let me poke my head in here for you. All right. Guys, it's always, it's such a one-way medium, right? Me talking to myself with the camera. And I see there are 29 of you live. Awesome. Great to have you here. Always feel free to comment. Give me a thumbs up, a smiley face, whatever you want. It <laughs> kind of gives me a little reinforcement here and makes me feel less crazy walking around with a big rig and a microphone. <laughs> Appreciate that. Here's another, uh, well, I think this is actually the same hotel, the Hostellerie de Plaisance, but just another portion. Five star. And you'll just see what the streets look like here. Very small, 
but well marked so you know kind of where to go. You'll see a sign there so you know, ah, oh, I have to head up. But again, it's a small village, it's a little town, and you really won't get lost. All right, so we've already, if you're just joining me, we've already popped into look at some pastries, the saint Emilion Macaron de Canada. We had a look in a wine shop. We looked at some beautiful views overlooking saint Emilion, despite the light rain going on right now. I'm trying to do my best for you guys, so thank you again. Okay. Ah, Julia, so happy to hear it. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. Really appreciate this. And you guys taking the time, uh, probably early morning for a lot of you, to just take a look at this beautiful French town. And there's that Tour du Roi that we started. We started up here. Okay. Now, we're going to continue on here. And I'm going to show you a few things, including a fromagerie. The owner is really nice. He told me a little bit about some of the cheeses he sells, so I'm going to show you those wonderful cheeses. And then I'm going to show you some vines. Let's see, how long have we been going for? Let's see, it's 3.30 my time. Perfect, we're right on schedule. Half an hour in. Up. Everyone's umbrellas are going up, so we're going to duck our head into that wine shop. Maybe I'll just take my umbrella now just to make sure we don't get too crazy. And just one quick note for tourists, there are some public toilets in saint Emilion. I know it's a strange thing to talk about, but if you don't go to eat at a restaurant, you're just popping through, I think it'll cost you about 50 centimes, unfortunately, but hold the door for a friend. Maybe someone will hold the door for you and you could just pop in there. Sometimes it's really hard to find decent public bathrooms in France, but there are two here, right in the town center. All right. So the cheese shop is just up here. And as you'll see again, there are all kinds of wine stores. Again, it's a wine lover's dream, but even if you aren't into wine, there are other, other delicacies you might be interested in, as we already saw. And just the magnitude of the, the history and everything, it's well worth a visit here, even if you aren't into wine. And look at this, another wine shop. Surprise, surprise. And then if you need to cool off, you have a sweet tooth, there are some artisanal ice creams right here on my left. Oh yes, very good. So everyone, um, if you're just joining, we're in saint emilion in the Gironde region of Nouvelle-Aquitaine. Tom and I are on our way south. This was just a stop to do Facebook Live. And I hope you'll keep an eye on my page because there are gonna be some spontaneous uh, Facebook Lives in the coming days. I can't really plan them because I don't know exactly where I'm gonna be, but they're gonna be kind of like show and tell. I haven't. You know, I won't be able to prepare notes and a whole walk for you um, for those places, but um, we are heading south, so <laughs> that surprise will be for you a little later. I might even try to go live again tonight. I don't know. We'll see. But if you like these walks and you liked what we've done before, going to the pharmacy and the grocery store and all that, please keep an eye on the page and share with friends. All right, so here is our fromagerie. So in addition to cheese, You'll see the little ardoise, that's the slate here. We'll go check that out first. I'm gonna put my umbrella down. And what do we have? We have sandwiches. So for five, six, seven euros, you can get all different types of sandwiches on baguette. But we're gonna head in because it is raining. And again, we have permission to go in everywhere that I'm filming. Bonjour. And first, I'm just gonna show you all of the cheeses. So look at that Vieux Cantal. It is giant and it is 37 euros a kilo. Check it out. Any cheese lovers? Red Heart, if you love cheese. We have Conté, all kinds of cheeses that you may and may not know. Look at this, Roquefort, if you're into something a little more strong, if you're into the blue varieties. And you'll see the prices are not cheap. Uh, we range anywhere from 30 to 32 a kilo, up to 49, up to 50, but well worth it. If you're at a place like this, buy some cheese. And let me show you over here as well. The gentleman also sells saucisson. So that's dried meat, cured meat, all types of things. I'm gonna pan up in a second to show you that. Uh, one of the cheeses he told me was the most popular from uh, an area not far from saint Emilion is this round, the round cheese right here, the trappe, 
Echornac, I think is how you say it. Echornac. 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 The top. Echornac. Something like that. Um, and he says it's excellent. So that if you're in the area, uh, grab that. It's à la noix. And I asked him why. Why is it à la noix? And he, I said, are there nuts in it? He said, no. It's soaked in a nut liqueur, kind of like that. And I, I don't think I've ever had a cheese that is soaked in a liqueur. I'm very curious about it. And that is 15 euros for that piece. So cheese is usually priced um, either by the kilo. You could buy a slice. That'll come out to be however many grams, and they price it by the kilo. Or it's by piece. So, for example, this other cheese here, that is two fifty for one piece, and that is a, a goat cheese, a chèvre. And then there's some other chèvre here, the bûche chèvre at twenty nine fifty a kilo, and you could get a nice slice of that. Saint Nectaire, which you probably know, goes excellent with red wine at thirty nine. And then I told you about the saucisson, not my favorite thing, but my mother in law loves them, and they're excellent. Charcuterie, if you make a plate of that. And this looks like it's the Mertille, so as it's written in English, the blueberry. That sounds very interesting, and I've never had that. What do you think? Any saucisson lovers there? Oh, you've had that cheese, Steph. Okay, soaked in nut liquor. You have had it. Okay, I'm just, I've just never had it. So just one last look around the store before we move on. Dun, 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 dun. And we'll just show you over here again. So if you find yourself in saint emilion stop into this cheese shop right at the entrance. Get something. Okay. I'll just back up so you can see the store a little bit. There's no clients in the store at the moment, so we can, we can look around. And there it is. Cheese, 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 and more cheese. Okay, very good. And on we go. Back out into the rain. Merci beaucoup. Bonne journée. Au revoir. Uh, je vais revenir avec ma carte de visite. En fait, c'est dans ma voiture. Oui. D'accord. Merci. Au revoir. Ah, he asked for my business card, and I forgot that in the car. Good one, right, Diane? Of course. So again, look at the roses. So something you'll see. I don't have an example for you right now, but something you'll see in. Uh, the Bordeaux area, and actually other regions of France too, are roses at the ends of uh, vines. So if you go to a vineyard, you might see just kind of it bookended by roses. And it's really decorative and it's beautiful, but I believe that the, the reason, the historical region, uh, reason, although now it's just decorative, was because when vines would get infected with different uh, viruses and things that kill the vines, um, they also affect rose bushes. But the viruses show up on rose bushes way sooner than they show up on vines. So the roses were kind of the guinea pigs and they'd monitor your vines for you. So if you saw the roses dying and getting sick, you know that the vines are next. So you could take measures to, uh, to take care of that before it kills everything. And the sky is way too wide for what he's trying to do. Good luck, man. Good luck. And there's a beautiful little outdoor terrace here at the entrance to Santa Emilio. I'll show you when the, the man passes. If you want to have a drink, that's an excellent thing to do. If you have some time to kill, have a glass of something excellent. And also, we're not going to be able to do it on this tour, guys, just because I'd be talking to you for 90 minutes or more. Um, but there's the cloisters, the Cordelier, Cordelia, I guess is the English. Uh, the la, uh, Cloître, the cloisters, are up the hill from here. And they're excellent. Uh, you can go in there. They actually have a Clément, a, a bubbling, sparkling wine um, from right here that they sell. They have a great gift shop, but you could go in and under the beautiful architecture and stone, which is under construction now, you could go in there, have a drink, have a picnic, and it's a great way to spend a little bit of time. And again, it's up this hill and around the, what is it, Tom? The, the cloister, the Croix de Cordelier. I forget the exact name, but that's excellent. And I guess the construction will be done soon. So as you can see, here are some vines, but they're not bookended by roses here, but just another beautiful view here in saint Emilion, despite the rain. All right, so as I told you, uh, my partner today for this video was Lazen, and they make a beautiful wine suitcase here called the Wine Check. And I partnered with them for a post that is linked in the description. 
But this is all you need if you're going to be coming to saint emilion or anywhere where you're going to be buying wine and you want to bring it home with you safely. Um, I would definitely not risk a bottle just being wrapped in my luggage the way baggage handlers do things. So this is checked. It's TSA approved. Um, and it goes on the airplane just like any other checked piece of baggage. So this outside portion is a nice zippered shell. And my assistant is just going to hold on to it so I don't knock it over the edge. And what we have inside is a polystyrene box. My assistant's going to hold on to it just so I don't knock it over. Um, it's a polystyrene box that when opened up um, can house 12 bottles, even big magnums of wine, of oil and vinegar, that type of thing. And the wine bottles just go right in here. You close it up, you zip it up, and you wheel it just like any other piece of luggage in the airport or with the handle here. So again, this is the wine check by Lazen. And you could check out the post I did with them with a video and more information, um, which is linked in the description. So thank you to Lazen and definitely check them out. Um, Tom, know what? If you want to put it on the ground, just hold the handle. I'll just give it the, I'll give it the, the, full, the full view here. Um, but yeah, so thank you again for everyone who is watching. Um, stick with me on the page maybe tonight. Make sure you have notifications turned on. And then definitely over the weekend, um, I'm going to go live probably... I'm going to try to make it like afternoon, evening, my time, um, just so I could catch some of you in the U.S. So that's the wine check. There we go. And I'm going to be on the coast. I'm not going to tell you exactly where yet, um, but it's going to be fun. It's a place that I've only been to once, and then we're going to be moving on to a place that's new to me. So that's that. Everyone, if you had a, a good visit with me today, you like the walk, please give me a thumbs up and a heart before you go. Leave me a comment. Uh, share the video with friends, uh, tell your friends, and keep an eye on the blog and come back and see me soon. Again, um, I'll just turn the camera around just real quick to show you who the wet uh, blogger is. Again, it's Diane. I'm here for you guys if you have any questions. Thank you so much again, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Okay, over and out from me. Bye.